Excalibur here, and I am back in the Titan SP server. How are you today? I am doing great. It's actually getting towards night, so let's go ahead and jump into bed. We're the only ones on the server, which is usually the case, and we're going to see what we can do here. Now, if you recall last time, we went through and we created this little doodad doohickey here, and I actually brought some wonderful log with me so that we can put the logs in and see what it will look like I think it will look really nice the only problem is that cobblestone there needs to be changed to brick and uh, I think that's it for here let's get up top and take a look yeah this is going to change to log and this is going to change to log I'm going to come over here and we're going to make sure this is all set up as log as well yes the chicken leg is mightier than the sword and here we go let's go ahead and get this put in here and this actually has come all the way out to here this corner. There we go. And we go and take care of this part here as well. Let's see how far out we can go. Do, do, and yeah. Can't even reach that, so let's just go ahead and hop over here. Chow and climb up the ladder and take care of it here. Ah, this is working out pretty well. Now, if we come down here, I actually also brought. Let me hit five. These guys, which fit wonderfully right here, and I want to put them all around like this. I don't think this will stop you from walking under it, but it will stop you from walking above it. Yeah. No problems there. Let's take a look here. We've got nothing in there. Nothing and nothing. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, now I think I have a chest right here that I can dump some of this extra junk into, just like that. We'll go clean up that dirt. We don't need it laying around, you know. Lazy dirt doing nothing. Okay, so the main part of this is done. We're going to grab the oak slab that I just put away. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Five. There we go. I'm going to start putting in the ceiling. Uh, it drives me a little bit batty to have this up here. Now, this ceiling we're going to have uh, right there. Yeah, that, that works. It's fine. And we need to turn this into brick. Because what we're going to do is fix this part here while we're thinking about it. Now if we were really slick we could put something like brick stairs, but uh, eh, I'm not that slick. Yeah, you can ask anybody who has seen most of my builds. I am not the best builder in the world, but I do what I can. Alright, so we are going to, eventually this is going to be something other than cobble. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And we technically don't need it there, but I'll put it there.
There we go. And that's what I don't like to see. Alright, let's go upstairs and get that. That should take care of all of that. Yep. And we'll drop back down. Now, um, this is pretty much going to be the roof, all or the ceiling, all the way across. Though, right here, I am really wanting to make it lower. But then you see this right here. It looks kind of yucky. Yep, yucky is a technical term. So we're going to go ahead and pull these off. I'm going to put it up one. Um, makes it a little bit easier to build upstairs, and you get to see our log all the way across 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 English speak I can alright so we're gonna go ahead and put up our cobblestone to make this wall nice and high all the way out to here Bring this across like so. And we will worry about that corner piece later. I'm not that uh, retentive. Boop. Oh man. I don't know what actually causes that. I think it's based on where you put it. But the funny thing is, if I click right here, it stays there. If I click up top, it stays there. It's it's one of those odd things. Thank you, Inventory Tweaks or NEI. And that one was done by mistake, because I clicked in the wrong place. This is a very, very flat kind of place here, but I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm thinking we could probably do log all the way across here. It would be really nice if wherever you hit the block determined which way it would fly out. If you know what I'm talking about. There we go. We'll come over here and take a look. Now. There we go. And then we can bring that all the way out here like that. And we can do the same thing to the other side. Only we'll do it the smart way from up top. Up top, up top. Oh, man, and get some lighting down over here. Let's see here. Right there. And right there. Ah, almost got it all with two torches. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do and do. And then I'm going to throw a torch right on top of here. There we go, right there. And let's get this in place. And this. And then we will have at least the first floor taken care of. Now just imagine there are uh, one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. At least eighteen different buildings like this in uh, Pool of Radiance game, and I'm counting places I have multiple rooms in it as uh, or multiple buildings attached as one building. So 
<laughs> there's a lot there. No, this is okay. We can get rid of that. And we will throw that torch down there. It's getting towards nighttime again, isn't it? Oh, we got a spawn area inside, which we'll take care of in a second. And we have no more oak slabs. So let's go ahead and drop down here. Hear that? Close the door. Make sure this door is closed. Here. Ciao. And we'll come back here and get some sleep. Now the wonderful thing is I have decided that I'm putting these guys here. That gives us 32 and another 60. There we go. Um, putting crafting tables right there make it very easy to make what we need on the spot no matter what room you're in. If we throw a torch right here. There we go. Now the the ceiling is on back here. Let's drop down. And this will probably change. As will this. I think what I want to do is put the way to get up and down right back over here out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. It's going to be nice little ghetto kind of look. And pow. I've got ladders galore. And we're going to go one step up. And then go in. And then we can go ahead and put a trap door on top. There we go. Right there. Because then we can go down. And then we can go up. And we can actually come over here and fix this part. There we go nice and hidden under here. We can get rid of that piece of dirt, I think. Yeah. Nice and hidden. Nice and hidden. Then we come over here, hop up, and boop, we can get inside as needed. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to make it a shaft. Let's go ahead and make sure people know that this is a way in. And I do not mind doing this here. And then five, there we go. We go like this. Make it easy to get up, hop, and there we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these full blocks right here. There's one and two. Nobody's gonna be nobody's gonna really care that these are full blocks except me, because I'm the villa. And there we go. Now our entrance up and down is hidden safely behind the bar. And I do have it. So we're going to go in and do what I wanted to do in the first place. Yeah, I just totally killed that. And we're going to instead use this. There we go. This is where I wish we had micro blocks 
because this would look a lot nicer with micro blocks. And we'll go ahead and do that. And that. Yeah. There we go. I think that looks a lot nicer. If this was 1.8, we could put in some other interesting stuff. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and use these slabs here. Oh, well, we can't. Dang it. I'm going to use these slabs here <laughs> to fill in the gaps here. And do I want to do it here too? Let's see here. Yeah, I want to do it here too. I think that makes gives it some definition, makes it look nicer. Um, let's see what it looks like if we put stairs right here. Now I can't put them up high enough, so that's out. But let's see if we put it right here. It sort of matches that, so we're going to use upside down stairs here instead of half slabs. To give that a little bit more definition there. And we could do the same thing there, but it takes away from that, I think. So let's head upstairs, collect those resources, put that torch back down so that we don't have uh, moblies crawling around up here. Now here we are, we've got this. I think what we need to do is put down some uh, stairs, some upside down stairs like right here. like this and this is to help keep spiders from climbing up if they get up here and it also helps to uh, let me just take this and we will put it like this instead um, it helps to give some definition some some niceness and we're using cobblestone because I am a slob we will upgrade this uh, and we need to change this to that. There we go. And then over here, uh, we could probably do the same thing. Um, it would be nice. It would be nice looking. But this is in the way and I don't want to move the walls too much. And let's get over someplace where we can see this. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're seeing the in. And let me hit F1. It hides everything so we can look. There's the bridge. I think what is in order here is we need to replace the corners with this. So let me get back here. Ouchie. Go ahead and do that for these corners here. Can't get to it here. Too high up here. There we go. Now we can just to get that corner in place. I'm glad I put this here. All right, let's get out here and check these corners. So, what I did is that and Stupid rubber banding. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. I like... Can we make this? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Now the question is, do I do that as well? I mean, looking at it, we get some nice decoration, but we have to take a look at it from outside the wall. 
Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. Yep. So let's hit F1 so I can see what's going on, where I'm going, and all that jazz. I'll take the waterway to get back up and in. And we'll come over here and fix this up. We gotta eat. We've gotta eat. Definitely, definitely gotta eat. Definitely. And kill those two and sure, why not? Okay. At least one of them got us. We are definitely going to replace these three. Four. I'll get these. Alright, there we go. I think we've got all the stone blocks that fell. It's getting close to nighttime again. Let's go sleep and we will call it an episode after that. Not much has been done, but. Well, actually, we made progress on our build. And the next thing we're going to be doing, and I'm going to, I'm probably going to do this a smart way for these other corners, because this corner has to change. It's not that far. It's only a couple. Boom. We go one, two, three. And over here we go down three. There we go. So all the corner corners have been set up for us to see wonderfully well. And that gives it a really nice look. Um, I missed that. It might be good to put logs on the... No, nah, I don't want to put logs on the outside, but uh, I think it wouldn't hurt if we pull these walls in by one and put stairs there. I think that would work very well. And we can go ahead and do that for one side and see what that looks like, and then we'll call it quits. So here we go. We're going to pull this wall. It helps if I have my interface. Go, there we go. Oops. Oops. Oh, that's where we want the stairs anyway. So we're putting stairs right here. And then we're putting our wall one step back. Which means that this corner is going to go back, but that's fine for now. Let's put this here in spot number five. Put it in place, and then come out here, put out our torches, yeah, just like that. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. It gives the same kind of definition you're getting in there. And uh, it's looking a little prettier. I think I might even keep the corners in place like that to give them more of a 3D look. I mean, we can add details and stuff like that there. Uh, yep. So, let's go make sure the floor is cobble for now and we could technically get rid of that line but we're not going to so I'm gonna put another torch here and this gives a bit of definition ah, we need to move this back anyway darn it so let's grab that and that okay and this 
this, that, and that. I don't mind that that sticks out right there. That's fine. Okay, and then we can hit five and put this that way. No, 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 no. It has to go like this, and then we put it like that. And we'll wrap it around like, no, not like that. We'll do it another way. But anyway, let's go take a look and see what this looks like. Right. Yeah, we need different materials. Uh, maybe we can uh, replace um, the st the cobble stairs with woo wrong one with stone, and that might make it look a lot better. So let's get up there, put down a torch to keep monsters from spawning, and we will call this an episode for now. We'll come back and do some more flan building in a while. So I hope you enjoyed the little <laughs> bit of uh, progress we got here. We did a bit more work. We've got our at least first floor ceiling on. We've got uh, some definition going on on the outside here. Uh, we're discovering what we need and what we don't need. And I'm going to eat some chicken while we talk. And uh, yeah. I think this is going to turn out to be pretty cool. And the first of like 17 buildings, 20 buildings or so, uh, has begun, as saw, uh, yeah, about halfway maybe. At least in the development stage, the planning stage. We've got to get this uh, designed and completely. What the heck? Oh, okay, zombie spawner. Um, we need to get it finished, get the roof on, and see how that looks. I'm thinking about a gabled roof or an A-frame roof. Well, an A-frame. An A-frame roof would probably be better. Because it is, after all, a medieval build. So, until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Minecraft. Especially SMP, because when you do get people on, it's fun to play games with people. Hmm. Anyway, please like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps me to know what you guys like. And the more subscribers I get, the happier I am. Yay! And uh, if you could also visit www.patreon.com slash Excalibur Zone Facebook tickle um, tickle Facebook noise anyway if you could visit www.patreon.com slash Excalibur Zone and become a patron it would be great one dollar a month helps immensely um, because when you support me you're supporting a bunch of other people not only are you supporting um, the people who I give to because one half of all my net proceeds go to charity, you're also helping yourself. Because the more you give me, the more time I can dedicate towards giving you content and giveaways and other fun things. So keep that in mind. Please become a patron. As always, this is Excalibur, and I am out.